What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. We are back bringing you guys some more Regulation H content. In today's video, we are showcasing Hydreigon due to the fact that Paradox Pokemon are now gone, taking out one of its biggest threats, Fluttermane. Hydreigon should be back in the meta seeing great usage in this next format. But this Hydreigon right here is rocking the choice specs as item, making it be an absolute offensive threat. It's got Levitate with Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, and Terra Blast with that Poison Terra type. To pair up with this Hydreigon to make it even better, we have ourselves Dragon Cheer Milotic. And this is going to be crazy because once I set up Dragon Cheer with Hydreigon, I can go into Choice Spec Strike a Meteor, crit every single time, not have to worry about the, uh, the special attack drops, and just do a ridiculous amount of damage. So super excited to be showcasing this combo. Hopefully grab some wins for you guys on the casual ladder, considering the format isn't officially out yet until September 1st. But still, we're having fun showcasing these teams. Our other four Pokemon on today's team feature Incineroar, Rillaboom, Tinkaton, and Murkrow. Incineroar, Rillaboom going to be staples in the meta. They were in the meta in Regulation G. Nothing's going to change in Regulation A H. Tinkaton going to be a fun Pokemon back in action with Fake Out, Gigaton, Hammer, Play Rough, and Thunder Wave. And Murkrow going to be a top tier Tailwind setter considering they took out Tornadus. So we pretty much only have Murkrow and Whimsicott. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Hydreigon in Regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Regulation H team. No Paradox Pokemon, no Legendaries, just the way we like it. They got Incineroar, Rillaboom, just like us, to rocking out with Golden Go, and then they got Oranguru, Ursaluna, and Amoongus for more of like Trick Room size of things. So I could just go like Hydreigon here. Let's be honest, they might just go Oranguru, Amoongus, and set up Trick Room. But I might honestly lead it with Milotic because. If they want to go into Incineroar, Intimidate won't affect us. Plus, we will get a competitive boost. So, I'm all in for that. I like bringing the Incineroar of our own. And last but not least, do we go into Rillaboom or Tinkaton? I think we got to go Rillaboom here. I think we got to go Choice Band Rillaboom. I'm all for this. So, they got Incineroar Rillaboom. We got to bring our own Incineroar Rillaboom. Look to just get after it. So, Hydreigon, Milotic coming out here for the lead. We're looking to set up that Dragon Cheer. If they don't lead a Fake Out user, but chances are they're probably leading the Fake Out user. Like, I'm not going to sit here and uh, sugarcoat it, right? They got it. Unless they lead Amoongus and Oranguru, which I wouldn't mind just going Dragon Cheer and all that. But they end up going Oranguru and Goldigo. Okay. Okay, I don't I don't mind. I think Dragon Cheer is pretty fair here. I think Dragon Cheer is very fair. We could honestly choose to a Dark Pulse. That might be a little bit better for us. Rather than Draco Meteor. Like, Draco Meteor is good and all, but Dark Pulse is definitely our play. And who is faster? Milo, are you? There's no way you're faster than Choice Specs. Hi, Jagon. I'm still gonna Dragon Cheer him up. I think just having that crit boost is just massive. I could honestly coil here. You get that attack, defense, and accuracy boost. But I just think Dragon Cheer is gonna be your play. Yeah, I'm gonna go right after this Ranguru. So we're gonna see a Terra pop out here. Most likely from the Golden Go, right? Yes, cool. We're targeting down a Ranguru or so anything. He's going to go into that normal terror type. The normal terror type just for defensive purposes. Uh, I don't I don't mind that. I don't really mind that at all. Dark Pulse should maybe KO you. It doesn't. You're able to survive a KO and you nasty caught up. How dare you? How dare you? Not cool at all. Not cool at all. So he plots up here. And he's going to pop a trigger. Gonna go for instruct. I don't mind that. And he actually can instruct. That was actually looking a little scary. But I think from here we just launch another Draco Meteor to finish you off. And I go for the 60 accuracy move to put you to sleep. I think we I think we go for it. I think we go for gold here. No pun intended. You're good as gold. What am I doing? What am I doing? I forgot all about gold and go. I forgot all about this Pokemon. This stupid ability. But Dark Pulse gonna finish off you. Scared of make it rain here. I'm critting with Dark Pulse like crazy. Um, I should just went for Hydro Pump. And here comes the make it rain. Hydrogon soak. Hydrogon's not soaking. All right, that's. I mean, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Bad, bad play on our end. Real bad play on our end. Well, at least they didn't get off Trick Room, which is good news for us. We go for Hypnosis, and yeah, I totally forgot about that ability. Good thing I'm in casual battles right now. So we get back some HP. Lovely little leftovers, and now I can bring out either Incineroar or... 
little roll boom and i'm kind of leaning towards incineroar because i'm choice banned and i'd rather just like you know save my choice ban for late game and hopefully they go into a physical attack because i'd love to just intimidate it up it's gonna be roll boom cool oh wait why does it say roll boom is that is that your incineroar's name roll boom i do get a competitive boost which is actually really good So now I'm sitting plus two. Um, okay. From here, we obviously want to go for a fake out into their Incineroar. It's so funny that their name is Roll Boom. It kind of threw me off. And I would love to just go for a Coil here to kind of boost my accuracy. And do I go for a Coil? Do I just rip a Hydro Pump? I'm already plus one. The accuracy boost would just be gorgeous. Um... I'm gonna go into Golden Go with this. I'm gonna fake out their Incineroar. Obviously, I could have taken out the Incineroar, but I think doing big time damage to this Golden Go is definitely where we wanna be. So it goes to Shadow Ball. Can we soak this all day? I'm loving my Ludic. And Hydro Pump is landing, which is huge. Plus two. Bringing you down real low. Bringing you down real low. So, so that's good news for us. Um, I might wanna play the swap onto, onto somebody. Maybe just go into. Rillaboom here. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna go into Rillaboom here. I can just grass guy Golden Go next turn, and I'm gonna try to look land a Hydro Pump into this Rillaboom, or not the Rillaboom. Why do I keep calling it Rillaboom into Incineroar? So I'm gonna take the hard swap here. Let's see what he ends up doing here. I'm gonna go right into our boy Rillaboom, and I kind of wish I had protect on my Ludic. That could be pretty big for us. So I think we can eat up another Shadow Ball, which is good news. He's gonna end up protecting Golden Go. That's massive. That's massive plays for us. And we do outspeed and we land a hydro pump so we can say bye bye to incineroar get it on out my face great place for us great place for us now we're choice banned i get to decide what move i want to choice ban into um they don't have terror which is really good news really good news grass god should ko this golden go no problem and i'm kind of wondering who they're going to go into that's really my, my one question here violet gets back so much hp sitting in this terrain with leftovers it's always good news that's why I kind of wish it had protect, because if it had protect, we would just protect and get back with even more HP. But I think the final Pokemon's got to be Rillaboom, right? I hope it's not. Actually, I kind of hope it does, because uh, I'm ready to play up against that, because I've been sitting in the back end. All right, let's see what you got. Throw out your final Pokemon. So even though we tried hypnosising this gold ago and things got a little scary, we kind of bounced back a good bit. They're going through the final Pokemon. It is going to be the Ursaloon. Um, hmm. I feel like I still have to take out Golden Go because I should be able to eat up whatever Ursuluna has to offer. Except for maybe a Blood Moon. But if not, I just have Hydro Pump flying across. So Grass Guide, you're gonna finish off you. Get on out my face. And Milo, can you go three for three with Hydro Pumps? I might have just jinxed it. But you're two for two right now. Show me three for three. I jinxed it. Why why I got jinxed it? I didn't jinx it. I thought it missed. Awesome. Milotic absolutely ripping up here in match number one. We start off things 1-0. Oh. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to use Hydreigon a little bit more. Moving on to match number two, and we got ourselves a pretty dope yet odd team. They got Grimstorm for screens, which we always hate going up against. They got Origin Form Dialga. They got two mythical Pokemon, Maletta, and I forget that thing's name. I forget it. It's more of a newer one, so I, I bear with me here. They got Avalug, and last but not least, they got Urshifu. Now, I could honestly just go into Hydreigon here. I could go into Murkrow as well. Murkrow is not bad here. I don't mind going for speed control with Murkrow. You do have Taunt, all that good stuff. But Hydreigon's pretty fast on soon, so I don't mind leading the Milotic and Hydreigon combo right off the rip. So I'm going to go into both of them. Um, do we want some speed later? I definitely want Rollaboom here. But I think I'm deciding between Tinkaton or Murkrow. Like, Murkrow could be good, especially if, like, Milo dies. We can just get some speed. I also foul play if I need it, but... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna give Murkrow a little go here. I think with the mythical Pokemon, they're they're a bit faster than me. Right? I don't really know the mythical Pokemon stats too much, but I'm gonna I'm gonna predict them going into them. So I'm definitely gonna need a tailwind setter here. So I'm hoping to just set up the Dragon Cheer. Start Drake Meteor in a way. Maybe swap Milotic, or if Milotic eventually dies. Or we can bulk it up a coil. It's just such a bulky Pokemon. Um we can get out Murkrow, and then I can set up Tailwind. And just really just start getting after it. But they're going to end up going into Grimstrong and Orchim Dialga, who's floating in the air. Look at him. 
It's so massive. The real question is, do we outspeed that Pokemon? I think I'm going to Terrasalize and play it safe. And just go into a Draco Meter in this slot. And on top of that, go for that Dragon Cheer. Get Dragon Cheer in. So I'm going to Terrasalize. We're going to play it safe, play it smart. Um, we're also sitting next to a Grimmsnarl, so I really don't want to hit it with Spear Break. Because once that happens, we can pretty much just say bye-bye to our... Uh, or Hydreigon, especially if we don't thrust slice four times with the fairy moves. So he's gonna end up going for a taunt. How dare you? Oh man, that's something we don't like. Might have to swap my Hydreigon now, but I am out speeding, which is good news. We do great damage over there onto Dialga. And Dialga's gonna go for War of Time. Why use that? <laughs> Why are you using that? Get on out of here. Just dumped on my Hydreigon. All right, we'll play around. I can't drag it here anymore. Um, let's go Murkrow here. Look to rip a foul play. I mean, that's not a bad play for us. Um, guess we're going to roll boom. Four time just does so much damage. Um, we double down Dialga here. I think so. I think we go for the fake out. Take actually, we don't have fake out. I think Grass Guy can KO. No, I'm gonna go into Wood Hammer here. We're, you know, we're just gonna send it this, this this way, and we're gonna go for. Oh man, I don't think Hydro Pump can KO. Actually, I think Hydro Pump can KO. We're gonna go into. He sets up a Light Screen. Oh man, yeah, this one's tough. Good old Origin Form Diago getting the best of us. Diago must recharge, which is good news. Wood Hammer gonna fire. Can this KO you? Choice Band Wood Hammer. It does. That's big news. I don't think Hydro Pump can KO, which is really sad for us. Be awesome if it can, but I don't think it can with light screen and this being not very effective. Yeah, no. Oh man, it hurts the soul. It really hurts the soul because I really want to get rid of Dialga. Um, do I just sacrifice my Murkrow here? Urshifu comes out here. Is this Dark Urshifu? Water Urshifu. It's kind of good for us. I think I sacrifice a Murkrow. You're gonna go for War Time in this slot. I'm gonna do this and uh. I don't really know what I should do here, because I'm taunted. I guess we'll go for Hydro Pump in case you're sashed. Man, this sucks. This really sucks. I guess we'll throw this in the Urshfu. I guess, but that War of Time kind of just put a damper on my parade. Taking out my Hydro Gun, no problem. And a taunt on top of that. So there's Ice Punch flying in this slot. Mercury's able to soak. You know, for War of Time into Milo. Milo, can you soak this, please? All day, Milo. All day. Now, this thing has to recharge. We miss our Hydro Pump. A little tough news on our end. But I think we have to set up this Tailwind. So, I'm going to go for Tailwind here. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. My, my, my Taunt's gone. We're going to go for Tailwind. I think he's going to Ice Punch again. And I'm going to set up a Coil. Because Dialga has to recharge this turn. This could be good because then I can bring out Rollboom. I can Wood Hammer. Hopefully KO this Diago. We're going to like. Um. I think I had the choice in the Wood Hammer here. I think I do. Go for Ice Punch into Murkrow. Go for Ice Punch into Murkrow. We can go for Surge Strikes. That, that's fine too. That's fine too. The Surge Strikes going to take out Murkrow. We have speed now. But my only problem is what move do I want to choice into? I feel like I have to do Wood Hammer here, right? I feel like I have to do Woodhammer if I want to shot up win this game. Because the thing is, if I go Grass Glide, I don't think I can do enough damage to Diago to KO it. I think Woodhammer can because it's Choice Band and it's in the terrain. Um, Milo can put Urshifu to sleep here. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to hope that I can KO with that. Because I need Woodhammer to honestly kind of pick up the KO on the Urshifu here as well. I'm gonna go one hammer. Pick up the KO, please. It does. All right. So, sitting in business here because I'm cool. To boost it. Actually, hypnosis should be 100%. Correct or or am I wrong here? I'm I'm wrong and I and I miss and I miss. Ice punch gonna fly here. Does that finish me off? I survive. What 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 what's going on? <laughs> Thanks, RNG. Love you. If I don't thaw out here, I lose this match. I mean, I have to put Urshfu to sleep here. 
It's a must. I really just got froze there. It was it, like that turn wasn't that bad if I wasn't frozen. Like I could have missed the the coil, or not the coil, the uh, the sleep and been fine. But I I I need Woodhammer to KO here, so I'm gonna double down into this thing. But honestly, I forget the thing's name, and um, it kind of made a funny noise. It made a funny noise. So we'll see a Terra pop out here. Is this gonna be Urshifu? No, it's gonna be this thing. I I, I forget saying Petrovron. Is that is that what it is? Might be its name. It's making funny noises, but I'm gonna be frozen solid here. We're gonna put you to sleep, and I finally land it. Why couldn't I do that last turn? Why couldn't I do that last turn? But it's pretty much over from here. It's not looking real good for us because this thing going poison terror probably going for something into my roll boom. Malignant Chain. He's going after... Okay, he's going after you. What's this move do? Oh. Oh. Chill. Is that poison me? Does not poison me. Hold up. Give me a chance. Give me a chance here. I have to put this thing to sleep. Only way we win this match. Only way we, we win this match. Hate to be that guy, but I'm in, I'm in a sticky situation where I have the hypnosis here. And cool, I thaw out. That's massive. That's massive. So what hammer gonna pick up the KO? Gotta always give myself a chance. Gotta always give it a chance. Alright, so I die out to recoil. I'm gonna put this thing to sleep, but yeah, this is just not looking good for us. I'm, miss I'm missing my hypnosis anyway. Alright, this game's over. This game is over. Thanks, RNG. I mean, honestly, Dialga got the best of us early on with that war time doing an insane amount of damage. But missing two hypnosis is rough. And getting poisoned and getting frozen. It's just terrible. Oh, poison puppeteer. I didn't even know what you do. That's why it's fun to hop on a casual ladder. You get some crazy matches like this. But I'm just going to end up running this one. They still have another Pokemon left. GG's to our opponent. Tough match number two, but we're looking to bounce back here and go 2-1 for today. We're going up against a crazy team right here with Coridon, Garatina, Metagross, Hydrogon just like us. Pretty cool. And then they got Ogre Pond with Groudon. So they got Weather Control. They got Dragons. They got Pseudo Legendaries. Legendaries. They got everything. They got everything. But how are we playing this one? I feel like speed is an absolute must. I have to lead Murkrow here. So I'm going to bring in Murkrow. Um, and I might honestly lead Hydrogon here. Maybe getting off a big time. Draco Meteor early on in this match. Could be big for us. So I'm going to go Murkrow. I'm going to go Hydreigon here. I am going to bring Incineroar. And do I go Rollboom here? I feel like Rollboom could be clutch. So I'm going to go Rollboom. This one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. So first match, we absolutely dominated. Second match, a um, little bit weirder for us. I mean, that one was a bit tougher. But we ended up losing. RNG kind of did us a little dirty. And war time with the other. Like, what do you guys want me to do when I'm not bringing legendary Pokemon? And this one's going to be tough as well. Like, when you're not using legendary Pokemon and you're going up against them, they always start off with the upper hand, right? But this is my job. It's not my full-time job, but I do this I do this a lot. Hopefully, I can pull it off. They end up going Hydreigon and Garatine here. And I feel as we should just, you know, go into Tailwind, obviously. And then just Terra... Dark Pulse? I could Terra Dark Pulse. Yeah, I'd rather Terra Drake a Meteor. Just look to KO the Garatina. Get rid of that bad boy. I'm cool with this. Terra Draco Meteor. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. <clears throat> then we can Tailwind. We can always swap out. Um, we're hoping they're not Terrasalizing Garatina. That'd be a that'd be a tough time for us. And they're not. So Tailwind, we get some speed control. That's why I said we need to bring Murkrow. Speed control up against these guys is massive. Their commuter's gonna land, which is gorgeous as a KO. Of course it does. Choice spec super effective stab. Get it on out of here. So we KO you. I think a Dracometer could KO the Hydreigon still. Are you going for a Dracometer of your own? You're going for an outrage. Can I still soak this? I do. Awesome. Dope. So that's my question now. Do I swap? It really depends who they go into. Do I swap or do I just Drake Amir's Hydreigon down? I'm going to swap. If you're not clear, I'm in with the Groudon. This could be big time for uh, our Incineroar. So yeah, I'm just going to go Foul Play here. Send it into the Groudon slot. Honestly, I could stay in here. But no, I'm going to go into Incineroar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that you're not... I'm going to say that you are not... Uh, what's it called? You're not clear, I'm in. This attack drop could be massive for us. 
cool. You're not clear on It's big. So we get the attack drop. Foul play is going to fly through here. I think we do less damage now that Foul Play actually did that. But Outrage is going to stay in this slot. And you get a crit. Why are you getting crits, man? At least Outrage is done. Outrage is done. Um, Wade's going to fly here. Murkrow dodges. And our Incineroar dies out here. Okay, but I reset my choice, which is pretty big for us. It's pretty big news for us. Resetting my choice. Um, I'm going to go right into you. I'm going to choice man into a Woodhammer. This is a tough match for me. <laughs> this is real tough. <laughs> this is real tough. I think choice into Woodhammer's got to be our play. Hmm. I guess we'll just start foul playing down the slot because I think Woodhammer will just KO. Well, you know what? He's minus one. He's not doing that much damage to me. Unless you got Heat Crash. No, we got to take out. We got to take out what's called. We have to take our ground on here. You're confused as well, so. And there's the Terra. Man, I was gonna go. I should've went for the U-turn hydrogen slot. U-turn pivot right into my boy. But the thing is, if I U-turn pivot, you're probably going for it. Yeah, this is tough, man. Rough set of match for us today. That's why I said I like the casual ladder and all, but sometimes you go up against legendary Pokemon. And it's just bad news for us. But foul play gonna fly from Murkrow to about negative five. Woodhammer, what are you doing here? Negative six. It's choice banned. That's that's some damage. That's some damage. You're confused. Can you hit yourself in confusion? Help me out a little bit. Probably not. My RNG is terrible. Oh, let's go. Okay, so there's that. Um, you can go for Fire Blast. Of course, he lands it too. Bye bye, Roll Boom. <laughs> Roll Boom going her. All right, so Roll Boom drops out. Do you have any shot at winning this? Do you have any shot at winning this? I mean, you can eat up an Outrage. You can eat up an Outrage, or you should be able to. Um, I'm going to Foul Play you, and I'm going to just choice into Dark Pulse here, correct? Is that good enough? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to choice into Dark Pulse here. And get rid of this Groudon. So Dark Pulse is going to finish him off. Bye-bye. Murkrow's just chilling on the field, flapping his little wings. And let's see how someone plays out here, because Hajigon is looking a little scary. He's still confused, which is good news for us. Foul play slowly chipping. Slowly chipping. What you got going here? Hit yourself confusion again. Oh, that'd be huge. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Now you go for Dark Pulse, which Murkrow soaks. Hold up. Give more HP to my Hydreigon. Our Tailwind's gone. We're going to have Tailwind set up again. We need speed. We need some speed. And our final Pokemon is going to be who? This is this is where it, where it kills me, right? Oh, it doesn't kill me. This is who I was hoping for. Because I can one-shot this. I can one-shot this. So we're going to go for Tailwind. We're going to launch Dark Pulse in this slot. Hydreigon might clutch us up. My boy Hydreigon might clutch us up. So Tailwind back out and about for us. Dark Pulse going to KO. No problem. Super effective stab. Respect. And I think you go for maybe like another Outrage here, correct? You're still confused. Go ahead. Hit yourself in confusion. Do it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Come on! Come on! That's so big for us. Now we can just foul play you. We can keep sending dark pulls. It's not very effective, but now we got the flinch chance out here. And it still does great damage. That's some good damage here. One more foul play should KO. Oh, yes. Yes. And I get the flinch. Yes. RNG on our side this match. RNG not on our side last match, but we get a little bit of makeup here. So now I can just go foul play. I go dark pulse. And we clutch this match up. Let's go. 2 1 for today's video, showcasing the power of Hydreigon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hydreigon is back in regulation age. I had a ton of fun using it today, especially with the choice specs and then uh, Murkrow and Milotic. Both those Pokemon, a lot of fun to use alongside with Hydreigon. You get the Tailwind boost, like you guys seen in match number three. And then you got that Dragon Cheer boost, like you guys seen, I believe, in match number one. We used it. Just a lot of fun. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button to see you on all of my videos. Good life. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.